When it comes to booking train tickets, you might think that the cheapest way to get them is through one of those aggregator sites like Rail Europe or Go Euro, but I'm here to tell you that that is not the cheapest way. And together we're gonna hop into my computer and I'm gonna show you how to get the cheapest tickets on a train when you're traveling through Europe. At the office where we talk biz money travel for freelancers. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing for more great videos like this one. And today I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about why it's always in your best interest to book tickets directly through whatever train company you need to go through rather than an aggregator like this one. And I'll show you why. So let's have an example. Let's pretend we're going from Paris to Nice at the end of August and there are six people traveling. In this case, I specifically wanted five adults and one child. So let's go ahead and search for those results and see what comes up. Now, site aggregators like Rail Europe are popular and it's usually because they're very easy to use, but I'm here to tell you that they're not always the best. So let's take a look. I'm gonna pretend like I really like this 9.21 a.m. departure and I wanna go first class, but the group for first class tickets comes to $853 total and that's a non-refundable ticket. You see here it says exchangeable and refundable with conditions that's um, I can add more money literally 700 more dollars if I want to make it flexible. So this is a crazy high price for six people. But anyway, let's pretend like this is the site you're going to use and you're moving forward with it. Well, this is the point where you'd enter everybody's details, first and last name, date of birth, uh, passport that they're from, and you would add these to cart. Now, something that I want to tell you about is that on these aggregator sites like this one, you cannot choose where your seats are. In fact, they don't even like to tell you where the seats are. And you just kind of are booking blindly. So when you get to the actual um, time where it's come to put in your credit card and pay for the tickets, you might not know where your group is seated. And worst case scenario, even though they try to seat people together, it doesn't always happen. So if you are traveling through Europe with a group, your group might be separated and you have no control over that. So secondly, I'm going to show you a better option and that's booking through the train company directly. Um, so I happen to know that SNCF is the train company in France, but if you didn't know, like let's say you're going to a different country and you didn't know what the name of the national railway was, you can just Google it. So train company through France. And Google should uh, pull up the name of the national railway for you. So SNCF looks like the ones that we want to look at. Um, and the nice thing about a lot of these European sites is that they're so international that there are multiple languages you can choose from. So using the English tab, and we want to go right over to reservations. And then we're going to type in the same details. We're going from Paris to Nice. We want the same date. I know I want an early departure and we want first class. We're going to add different passengers. Looks like I can only add four right now, but let's go ahead and search for these. I feel confident that it will let us add more passengers on the next tab. Okay, yes, so we are adding a fifth adult and uh, I want to make sure I add the sixth child because I want to make sure that this matches up. So there we go. Now the best thing about this is a non-refundable, just like the other first class ticket we were looking at, is only 445 euros on the direct website. Let's look at that really quick. What is that price in dollars? It's $507, which means that booking through the train company directly gives you a savings of over $300. Last thing I want to mention about these sites is that you often do have more control over seats. You can often tell where everybody is seated together. They do try very hard to seat people together. Um, you'll see here that most of the group is together and usually that's just due to availability if they split you up. But there's a lot more flexibility and freedom and uh, it's easier to get in touch with the company itself if there's a problem while you're booking. And last but not least, perhaps mo most importantly, you get to save $300.